What's going on there guys? Good evening once again. The Earthmaster here with a quick update video on this Monday evening, April 18th, 2022. Got uh, a pretty good size earthquake coming in here. You can see the uh, signature up there in Japan from this large earthquake, a 6.2 earthquake, at least from the EMSC right now, uh, showing that uh, magnitude of a 6.2. I'm not getting anything yet from the USGS in regards to this earthquake that struck down here along the Tonga Trench. Still waiting on those folks. Uh, it could be who knows how long. Uh, but the EMSC model here, CSEM.org uh, website, showing a 6.2 earthquake in the area of Tonga, about 80 kilometers down. Looks like into that uh, Tonga Trench region there, 6.2. Uh, if you notice here on the map, we've been absent here of earthquake activity within this region uh, over the last couple days here. So. Uh, only a matter of time before things decided to kick up uh, in this area. This would make the second six-pointer in a very short amount of time today, within the last few hours, actually. So uh, things starting to really get moving here along the Pacific Plate with all this movement and the swarming we've seen in the region of the Philippines and the Indonesia area. Uh, definitely was pointing to something. I still think it could be pointing to something a little bit larger in this region, but for now, a 6.2 earthquake. Once again, into the Tonga area. Also, uh, had a 4.3 earthquake. Looks like, uh, yeah, this 4.3 occurred late. It looks like way late last night. So I'm not for sure if there's any renewed movement here. I did see something pop up on the uh, Earthquake 3D globe that did show uh, some further movement there in the New Zealand region. It's going to be this earthquake right here, a 3.4. Now I'm not for sure if that's just going to be an error, a, a phantom quake from that 6.2 that just struck up along the trench, the Tonga Trench, or uh, if this is an actual earthquake. But uh, we'll keep an eye on that and see what gets reported once again, USGS, there we go, they, they popped it up. These guys are downgrading it. So this makes the uh, second downgrade today from the USGS. Originally had a uh, 6.2 come in to the Philippines here. Uh, just uh, a couple hours ago, that got downgraded to a 6.1. EMSC reporting a 6.2 with this Tonga earthquake, USGS showing a 6.0. Uh, and this one's shallow at 10 kilometers. So there's a big difference in depth from the EMSC model and the uh, USGS. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that pretty closely. I wanna see if this has been reviewed or not by someone that is hopefully awake and not in the middle of uh, you know, sleepwalking there looking at charts. Never know with some of these geologists and seismologists here with the agency, but it has been reviewed. It is not a computer issue. Uh, it has been reviewed by someone they're at the USGS and they stand at 6.0 at 10 kilometers below the surface for that earthquake. So, uh, all right, folks, uh, just getting pretty active, pretty interesting. Of course, this all goes along with the activity on the sun, solar weather activity uh, continuing as we look at this massive sunspot area uh, come into view. Look at that, 2993, 2994. We'll do more updates on this tomorrow uh, as these things rotate into view and provide us uh, with some possible more X flares. We are getting a little bit of spike here on the solar flare detection. Uh, ramp it up into the M range, uh, M flare range. Uh, looks like it has peaked out, very low M flare. But uh, like I say, it's starting to uh, it's starting to crackle and pop a little bit. So we got to watch out for that. Uh, I have a feeling X flare potential is very high uh, as long as this thing is looking dynamic as it is on the charts. So. All right, guys, have a good night. We'll chat to you a little bit later on. Uh, once again, 6.0 earthquake, uh, according to the USGS. They're in the Tonga Trench area. Stay safe, everyone.